Welcome back to the episode of we are doing some adventuring and uh, this time we are going to do some side missions that popped up somewhere in Monster. Starting with one of the crucial NPCs in here with Wagner. Hey Traveller, do you have a moment? What is it? Have you heard of Storm Terror's lair? It's those ruins outside Monster. While Storm Terror made the place his home, it was shrouded in a whirling, impassable storm. No one could pass through, so the precious <gasps> crystal ore in there hasn't been mined. Well, I think I did. I don't know. I've heard people say that the storm around the area has disappeared. There should have been a prime moment to go for the ore veins. But with so many places in the city needing repairs, our smithy services are in high demand. Schultz can't hold the fort down alone either, so I can't leave. What say you go have a look, Traveller? If you find any crystal ore, bring some back with you. Alright, I'm on the case. So, my thanks. These crystal ores uh, should help in forging and in restoring the city as well. Perfect. So, it is the uh, After the Storm mission. And we have to go all the way over here. Good. Where's the quickest way of going around? I think it's just going for the statue and then... Uh, going across the bridge and then further towards the south or something um yeah like a Hoi. that is quite remarkable so this uh, strange helical dude appears out of nowhere interesting does he really just appear do you have to defeat him or how do you can you interact with him in any way? I do, because he's looking for something. What is he looking for? Okay, he doesn't seem to register anything. That is so weird. Is there a way to kind of get his attention also? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Seems completely, uh, completely oblivious. Huh. All right. The menace of the mansion. Uh, I didn't even cabbages. Okay. So the Lord of Cabbage again. Huh. Lord Cabbage. What a nice title. It's so high. I have to be careful where I'm going to step onto. Um, I think it's over this way. Oh, it's right down there. You can already see it. So we're going to start with the one on the south. Then I use the teleport again uh, in order to skip some distance. Then and so on and so forth. It's just three of those ore veins. Come on. It's not even that worthwhile. So it's just go check them out. It's not collect the ore. Interesting. Uh, yeah, it just says go and check for the crystal ore in Storm Terror's lair. It doesn't say anything else, really. Didn't I just say that I wanted to teleport? Okay. Uh, let's just take out the shamans. I don't know why. It's just the primary gameplay loop is pretty decent. There should be some kind of an army mode for hilly girls. <laughs> I don't know why. It would be pretty relaxing. And uh, a nice way to farm some Mora. Alrighty, so the next one is uh, 100 meters this way. This way. <laughs> Muscle memory, even if it's wrong. Then we use immune to fire damage. There's no reason to use it. Two, three, and four, and bam. How much damage do we actually do with each strike? Huh. I have to figure that out. Oh, wait a minute. We also have Sunday. That means I can try to collect those uh, ball-shaped items from here, right? Uh, the golden ones. These ones. They are really important to a uh, leveling up process for the weapon of Bennett. Hmm, okay, so that one is done. Uh, the other one is further to the north. 
There's no reason to walk all the way up there. Okay. Let's just save ourselves some minutes. Do, 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 do. Also, are there enemies in here again? I could see the back of some helicopter's heads. We Oh! I didn't notice that one before. Yeah, and this one is probably pointing right at it. Exactly. Those breakable walls, or like stone piles here, they think. Oh, wow. Hmm. Interesting. So you're supposed to check the area out, but you're not supposed to mine it. But you are again uh, supposed to give the crystal ore to walk now afterwards. So, what kind of crystal ore should you give to walk now if you don't mine the stuff on the field? <laughs> that was the wrong character that I wanted to fight with. There we go. <laughs> so, and back to Monster we go. That was actually a really, really, really quick side mission. I think I can uh, string another one after it as well. Shoot. <laughs> and there also is another one. Patrolling to my left. Do, 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 so, I have it right here. Let me see. Ah, these crystal ores actually don't look half bad. Here's your payment. Take it for your troubles. So, this means that the storm around Stormtail's Lair has indeed disappeared. Uh, dispersed. I should make time to go there myself soon. Well. Oh, interesting. So, there is a, uh, a quest Walkner instance, and then there's a normal Walkner instance. And depending who gets instantiated. Uh, a different, uh, different options pop up. Very interesting. So, now let's talk to Hoffman. What do you want? There's still so much cleaning up to do. What's the matter? As I'm sure you're aware, we faced uh, continuous attacks from bands of monsters for the entire duration of the Storm Terror incident. Although the Storm Terror incident is now revolved, uh, resolved and we've successfully fended off the monsters, the monsters erected quite a substantial number of barricades outside the city over the course of their raids. So while the monsters themselves have been fought back, these barricades aren't about to disappear of their own accord. I thought I did destroy that. Anyway, uh, we can't le just leave them here indefinitely, especially now that things are returning to business as usual in the city. Unfortunately, the knights are short-staffed and there's simply no one to take on the task. As our honorary knight, uh, would you be willing to clear up the barricades? Well, everything for Mora, I presume. Spoken like a true member of the Knights of Favonius. Honorary knight, you have my gratitude. Does he have to say anything else though? It's also in the aftermath. Uh, if we just add a couple more people on hand. Okay, so what are the other knights doing? Maintaining the city's defenses, helping with the rebuilding effort, and a whole host of other odd jobs. Every last knight we have is up to their eyeball and work right now. For once, a guard's duty at the main gate is the relatively easy job. And yeah, you could solicit help from the Adventure Guild though. Okay, in fact, we are lucky to have had their assistance from the outset. At first, they were helping find and rescue victims in the city. More recently, they've been keeping watch on monster activities further afield. When the monsters began gathering near to the city, it was thanks to the adventurers who carried out early raid reconnaissance and reported back to us that we were able to make specific and effective plans for the defense effort. Even now, they are hard at work supporting all our efforts to get the city back on its feet. Honestly, without them, the knights would be starting to crumble under the load. I must make time to thank Cyrus properly. Alrighty, uh, and the barricades are right outside of town. There almost seems to be no reason to use the quick travel option for that. Ooh. That entrance here kind of reminds me of, or at least the grassy thing with the gate. Well, it does. It is a standard look, right? Ah, uh, what was it? What was yes. it? What was it? Uh, there is a city in Black Desert. Um, 
that's also right uh, inside a huge castle. I just get the name of it. What was it? Something with an H, I think. Heidel. Heidel. That was it. Alright, enemies are defeated. Let's destroy the rest of it. At least you can get through fairly quickly. Uh, patrol the area and clear any obstacles. So there are even more of them. Into a destiny. One of them in the south, one of them in the east, and another one might probably be in the north as well. And it all started with this uh, barricades right at the crossing. And there they are. So if the helicals are supposed to be kind of dumb, right? Why do they build uh, military structures? <laughs> That's the thing I'm kind of hmm, unsure about. Because in order to, uh, well, yeah, make use of military structures, you have to figure out that they are useful, not just useful or all, all the time, but for a very specific purpose. And then, uh, yeah, because barricade itself. Well, it's kind of like a shielding, but still, you could go around it or anything. Why does this thing not burn down immediately? Okay, that one takes a little while. Anyway, uh, the fact of the matter still remains. A barricade is a an object that is built with a certain intent to it. And the helicals don't seem to have that kind of intent, to be honest. Okay, now where's the other thing that I still have to destroy? What is that? Maybe it's this one. Alright. So, and... Okay, so there's another one further along the... Uh, uh, further along the road. The standard troubles. Oh, Lin's troubles. Why is it that every time you go somewhere, the quest that pops up is always behind you? <laughs> uh, well, it's a, mm, sometimes it's right on the way as well, but it, uh, more often than not, it's somewhere completely different. So, what does she need this time? Some Matsutake. One, D. So, let's give her that. Alrighty, quest is finished. Now we can go back to the aftermath mission. Hmm. Maybe even defeat some more helicopters along the way, just in case. Let's get to the tower. The bit of luck, I mean, even... Nah, I'm not going to reach it. Whoa, no, good win, good win, good win. Open your eyes, good win. I don't know if you're actually able to find the necklace that he's looking for. Oh no, it's um, it's not a necklace, it's a keepsake, so it could be anything. I just presume it's a necklace. Alright, that one is done for, come on. And let's put some fire on it. How much more? There we go. All right, now time to report back to Hoffman. I huff and I puff. Huffity, huffity, huff, puff, puff. 
Hmm. Oh, there's also another quest in the Dawn Winery. Huh. That might be uh, something more... Mm, well, not that easy to finish. So, uh, how's the progress? Finished clearing the area yet? Yes. Fantastic. You've been an enormous help. Who knows how much longer those ugly things would have been stood there otherwise. Honorary Knight, please accept these as an expression of my gratitude. And what do we get? 20,000 Mora. That is a lot. All of them are pretty much loaded all the time. That's nice. What does Paimon have right now? Oh, it's one of those name cards. Uh, because I managed to get another category. Yeah, the monster missions. And it's the one I unlock. That's also pretty cool looking. It's just a bit of contrast that's missing over there because it's too whitish. You can almost not see the windmill there. Uh, there we go. Like, you can see the windmill, um, but with the text on top of it, it kind of disturbs the whole image. That's the problem that I have with it. Because then it's just white and white, and it's really difficult to see things. And then you also have this kind of like pastel, grayish uh, color below it. Whereas this one here, okay, it's much easier to see because it's a different color. Same as this one because much higher contrast. Uh, that one again is kind of difficult. And this one, yeah, it kind of flows into the image. That's a bit iffy. All right, so we did two of those missions. Wait a minute. Um, this quest is now done. Then there is another side quest that's also done. And then there was another one in the Dawn Winery. Yeah. But I'm probably going to do this in the next episode, <laughs> just in case. Uh, what did I say about the balls being needed for the weapon? Yeah. Let's see, maybe I can uh, finish that one now. Uh, wait a minute. It's the... this one. Ah, exactly. Um... Four of them I need. And how many of the previous items do I have? Ballsy, 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 ballsy items. Uh, there we go. Um... Oh yeah, wait a minute. I need to make more of those. The mist veiled gold elixir thingies. Uh, four times three, twelve. I need twelve of these. But I don't know how many I have at the moment. So the ballsy items. Where are you? Then there. Uh, twelve of these. Okay. That's a bit much. So I need at least oh, eleven. I uh, no, this is not the one. Then I'm going for this one here. <laughs> oh, it's, it ends with the level 80 one. That's interesting. So there's not even a level 90 thing in there. Yeah, it's also not necessary. Because you can only turn an item uh, from level... Yeah, you can only ascend the last time between level 80 and 90. Or like... Uh, what was it? Yeah. Uh, if you reach level 80, you have to ascend it. And then you can unlock the uh, last 10 levels. It's not that you can ascend afterwards from 90. Be to 90 again. It's not really possible. Okay, let's do some after mission grinding here. Why not? Didn't do that for a very long time. Also, I don't really know the interactions in here. It's not that complex of a domain. Everything is electric, it's pretty sweet. Because that means I can get the interaction between my fire characters all the time. It's so sweet. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I have to get this slam first. Because that one is linking to the others. Ah, uh, what did I say about the linking? 
Genius. So I'm strange. Right. You defeat one set of enemies and the second set appears immediately afterwards. It kind of feels as an endless stream of them. But it's not. There we go. That's the last one. Yeah. You have to get them under a constant barrage of attacks, otherwise it won't really work. Ah, I think the lightning strike is the special effect of this domain. That could be it. So how quickly did we even finish that anyway? Nah, not even the right stuff. Ah. Too bad. Let's do this again. Uh, your character will be practically inflicted with uh, engulfing storm, continuously draining your energy until the inflicted electro element is removed. Lightning bolts will practically fall from the above. Okay, that's the thing that I noticed. Dealing electro damage and completely draining the character's energy. Lightning bolts may leave ball lightning. Oh, okay. So don't get hit if you want to use your ultimate. But the ultimate is not really the ability that I use on a constant basis. Like, I use them as a little push to get a bit more damage out, but most of the time I just use the normal attack. Alright, uh, come on. Ooh, Actually, uh, I should put a bunny on the field. That would make things much easier. <laughs> See that? You defeat... Okay, so there are four enemies coming twice. Uh, Two purple electro slimes, one yellow electro slime, and one scission mage. <laughs> Come on. Okay, slime is vanquished. <laughs> Three, four. Ah, no, they can teleport when they are taking flight formally. Interesting. Yeah, I, whoa, no. I think I got hit by it. That was pretty imminent. Alrighty, so two of them done. I can do this like once more at least. Oh, come on. Like, uh, should there be a chance of obtaining at least a purple one? The purple ones should be much more common. I didn't even get a single one of them. And sometimes you should get a, uh, a golden one. Uh, but what happens is you get the same stuff as you would usually get if you go for a lower tier domain. So, what you can do, well, okay, you shouldn't really do it, but uh, yeah, at some point it just is a question of time, really. Like, how quickly can you go through the domain? How quickly can you uh, defeat the enemies? And if there's an. Well, if the time difference is too large between one difficulty uh, and the next, then don't go for the higher one, uh, but instead just. Aim for the uh, for the one with less good items, but then again, you can just craft the better versions as well. It may just take a little bit longer. Hmm, but then you have to basically go through the domain twice, so. and also you have to spend some resin. Hmm. The thing is, you can't really... Hmm. You can't really argue with the time idea. Because you really need to use resin, so everything is resin. Uh, 
resin barn. Hmm. Therefore, the best thing you can do is choose the one with the highest outcome. Pick that. And then just hope that you can uh, finish it in, yeah, within a reasonable amount of time. That's the only thing you can do, basically. It's kind of mean. Because otherwise you can just uh, farm lower tier items. There we go. <sighs> Definitely not what I wanted to get. All right. Hmm. You do need to be prepared. Then we reach uh, eventual rank 50. What is okay, it may take a little bit longer. That's so strange. Like, doing all of the exploration gets me a very, very high adventure rank. <laughs> uh, but doing the missions themselves doesn't really do anything. That's so strange. Alright, uh, and then I can also just finish or get some rewards from uh, from Monster Hunt for doing those quests. Let's just check that and see how many more missions are available in the vicinity. I don't think that there's that many. Might even be that there's at least like one of them uh, in the Dawn Vinery. Yes, two of them I claimed right now. Um, was it Wind Rise, Wind Fall? I don't know. One of them, I think, happens in the Dawn Vinery, and the other thirty will I don't know when they will uh, be unlocked. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Maybe I have to get to a, a specific area in order to unlock them. Maybe that's what I have to do. Uh, this mission is not shown here. Uh, maybe it's over here? Over here? Nah. Uh, the missions usually appear next to characters themselves. So it might be in Star Snatch Cliff because there's a couple. Um, uh, a couple of people on the cliff, but only at night. Then there's a dude in Pride Cry in the Davy. Then what else do we have? What's this? Uh, the, ah, the weird statue. Okay. And then there is the sword in the stone. That might be also somewhat quest related. Maybe Arthur. Uh, has something for us, but it's nighttime right now, so Arthur is. Arthur is somewhere completely different. Hmm. Strange, 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 strange. Yes, spot that. Boken the Boken. Yeah, I could just uh, go down here, heal up my characters, and then continue with the next mission in the next episode. And also, really, really close yes, to the quest <laughs> itself, so we don't have that much downtime. Nice, nice, nice. Wait, does he have a band-aid on his hand? I think so. Either this or it's a shadow. Yeah, it's a band-aid. <laughs> uh, he has scars, band-aids. That dude has it rough. Alrighty, this is where the next mission starts. Something about the maids. It might be some very quick mission, it might be a bit longer, but who knows. And with this, we will end this little episode and continue with this mission in the next one. Until then, like and subscribe. Ta-ta!